Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm using the November palette from Deck of Scarlet. This is number five to create this eye, cheek, and lip look. Ooh. So anyways, this palette um, is a little bit different. Normally they come split so you can lift up and see your lipstick and then you have your um, eye and cheek palette kind of off to the side. This month they did it all as one and it has a pretty mirror. It is white. It also came with a lovely eye pencil which I used today and I've already lost it. No, I didn't. The lip pencil. So really like the lip pencil. Looks really good. The eye pencil is called Twilight and um, I think Twilight was a good name. It's The eye pencil wasn't jet black, um, kind of a smokier black, but on the light side. So how did I like this palette? A, I like the cheek color. I think Dusk went on really nice. Prosecco went great on the cheek. I actually used it on the eye. Dream went on like a dream. It, it was great to put down as a base. Um, Luna, I kind of had to build up a bit. So as dark as it is in the pan, when you actually go apply it, it is not as dark. Um, it kind of goes like in a sheer eggplant color. It's kind of the best way I could describe it. But I did go ahead and add additional on top of it um, to build it up. Again, I use the Prosecco as my lighter eye shimmer color. And then um, I did take the Luna underneath, but picked up some Gold Digger and just went right along the bottom there. So this color actually, or this palette reminds me of something that the Lakers would, the ladies that like or follow the Lakers would love because of the purple and gold, or maybe the Vikings if you enjoy, you ladies like some football. So I did get a kick out of the fact that it's football season. It did remind me of football and basketball. What can I say? I do enjoy sports. But um, I will say I really like this lip color. The only downside to the lip color is I've already had to reapply it because I was drinking some coffee and it's gone. Um, so the lip color fell off really, really quick. Out of the whole palette, these two bits right here are probably my favorite which is still great because the pan size on both of these are awesome. Really, really like this dusk. Um, I couldn't figure out recently, I've been looking for browns. I'm kind of over the pinks and maybe peaches. And so it was perfect timing that I got this. And I really do like the browns for the, or the brown color um, as far as dust goes. It's just a nice change. So anyways, if you want to see how I used this deck of Scarlet palette number five to create this eye look, you're in the right hey, spot. This one is from Amy Rose Walker from Day to Night, drenched in color or bronze to perfection. Amy Rose is our ultimate beauty star. As an artist in chief, she shares her expertise, layering up high impact hues Balancing texture, upping the stakes with ultra shimmery shadows. Look to Amy Rose for all your can't miss tips for edition number five of Deck of Scarlet. So we've got a lip pencil and an eye pencil and our palette as it slides out. It says, tis always a season a party with stepped up palette of pinks and golds that turn fun and a stunning. The attitude starts with a bit of lip in a daring pink called Sass Queen. Need we say more? Make your eyes flash with gold shimmer set against our Luna purple as deep as midnight. The pink Prosecco illuminator lights up any look with a perfect rose tinted glow. Every shade pops with high density, high pigment color, and the palette is carefully selected to inspire multiple looks from casual cocktails to strut your stuff affairs. All right, let's see if we can't create a strap my stuff affair. Ooh. Now this month they didn't do the two. They did just one, which kind of is a bummer because I don't like this to get into that. Um, nice little mirror. So let's see. I was thinking about these colors last night, trying to figure out what am I going to do? So as always, you're going to find out with me whatever I'm going to do. All right, we're going to start with the color Dusk. 
as our cheek color, which, holy mackerel, did I contour or what? I'm going to set the under eyebrow and the base, or my all over with the color Dream. I'm going to use Dusk as my transition color. Since I don't know how well Luna is going to go on, I'm going to start on the outer corner to see if we're going to do a smoky eye. We're going to see how this works. I'm going to pick back up the dusk and smooth those edges. I'm taking a blending brush just to kind of soften that. So not nearly as dark on my eye as it goes on in, or not nearly as dark on my eye as it is in the pan. So that's something to know there. I'm going to take the Prosecco Now I do have more fallout than I had wanted. Alright, I'm going to take their eyeliner. This color is in Twilight. Let's see how this lines the eyes. I think Twilight's a good color because it's or a good name for the color because it's not overly dark and I'm noticing my I didn't get anywhere close so this eye is coming in halfway this eye is not so we're gonna kind of fix that <laughs> Yeah, I'm patting a little bit more on to get a deeper kind of look. So the purple is buildable. Yay! Again, I'm going to go and just kind of soften the edge here. I'm going to take a flatter brush in with that Luna. And I'm going to go right over the top of the eyeliner. And even though I've swept away and tried to clean up the fallout, putting on more purple has created more fallout. I'm gonna have to clean that up. This fallout's pretty good. So if I was to use this palette again, I would not do my foundation beforehand because that is creating, um, looks like I got socked in the eye because it does have fallout, even though I've tapped my brush. And since um, we have the color Gold Digger, I'm going to pick that up on a flat brush also. Now I'm going to go in with my lip liner. It's a long lasting lip liner and the color is Bell. I like that color. Ooh. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up Pinky Promise. That's such a cute name. Ooh, I dug way deep in that one. I'm going to take a bit more of this Prosecco and kind of soften that middle line here. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyelashes off camera fix my hair and I'll be Thank you so much for watching me use this subscription called Deck of Scarlet. I really enjoy getting one of these every other month. You've heard me say if you've seen my other Deck of Scarlet 
videos that I enjoy having everything in one little tiny palette that you can just throw in your purse and go. This idea is brilliant and I probably will say that every single one of my videos because these are small, sleek, and brilliant that you can take a full face with you. I love that because how many of you ladies you go to work all day and then you want to catch up with your girlfriends or you want to catch up with your boyfriend or husband afterwards or maybe you have an, an after work event. You don't have time to go home to touch up and your makeup may have slid, moved, shifted throughout the day. So what makes it great is you can have a full face, basically lip liner and eyeliner, throw these babies in your purse and you are like rocking. So again, the, whoever came up with this idea of Deck of Scarlet, God bless you because I absolutely love this subscription. Um, it, it's always fun for me to get and I just really, really enjoy it. So if any of you have subscribed to Deck of Scarlet, I wanna hear kind of what your feedback is. Put your thoughts below. Do you like that everything's compact, that they put all the colors in one little palette and I mean, depending on the month, sometimes they put in eyeliners, sometimes they put in lippies, sometimes they put in lip liners. Eyeliners, lip liners, lippies. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. So um, I do want to hear your feedback. I thank you so much for joining me. I really love interacting with the YouTube audience. I've met some great people and I continue to really enjoy this channel and the people that have subscribed, so thank you so much. And here we go, you know the end. You have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.